Hey guys, it is Jamie. I am back today and today I am filming a just little um, tutorial on a really simple smoky eye that I created that I have on right now using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I hadn't done any looks with it in like over a month so I just wanted to do something and I sat down to film. I did not know what I wanted to film and I just started going and I ended up with a super dark smoky look but that was also super easy to do. I used only probably five or six shades. Maybe a little maybe a little more. Five, six, seven, eight shades out of the palette. Um and then I did use one out of the Laura Lee palette. I hope you guys enjoy. This is something super, super out of my comfort zone. I never wear anything really this dark, but I just started going and I was like, all right, we're gonna go for it. I think looks like these are perfect for the holidays and times like these when you're going out to events or Christmas parties or holiday parties or anything like that. So yes, um, if you wanna see how I achieved this nice warm smoky eye, then just keep on watching. I'm gonna prime my eyes with my Tarte Shape Tape. You guys know what this is, I use this all the time. I literally am just going to dab it on my eye. Uh, so, and I am using my little baby beauty blender. It looks so big in camera. I promise it's just the baby to blend this out. I'm going to use Okie Dokie, the white shade, right here to just go over my entire eyelid to set that. Um, I did not do my foundation first just because doing this it's going to have some fallout we are using darker shades so it's easier to just not do that first in my opinion so the first shade i'm going to go in with is on the top row third one in the silk cream i use this shade for pretty much every single eyeshadow look to start with just because it's the easiest for me to start as my transition color. It's a very light color and I like that about it. I can build it up very nicely. I kind of just start on my lid and then I run it up towards my brow. I don't want it to touch my brow but I do want it pretty close. I go in with that about twice before I advance to the next color. And like I said, the shades that I do not know the name of because I still have not got them down, I will put on the screen as I'm doing. Or I might just do a voiceover for this whole, whole section of it. I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. So now that I have silk cream on there and blended all over the lid and all over the eye, I'm going to go in with the second shade in the second row. It's just a little warmer. I definitely prefer warm tones as opposed to cool tones on my eyes. So I'm going to go in with this and the same thing as the last color, just blend it all into my crease. Down, kind of over my lid and then up. And you can just tell Especially when you're using a dark color for a smoky eye, you really want to build the colors. Okay, so now we are going to go in with the fourth shade in the second row. This is a little more mustardy colored. I'm like tapping my brush off over the sink. And again, I'm just doing the same thing. I'm using the same brush. I'm building it up in the same way as I am with the other colors. I'm just starting easy and I'm going darker as I go. And I'm not too worried about the shape of it because at the end I'm going to use a makeup wipe and clean it up. That's my favorite way to do it or um, put a piece of tape. I haven't done the tape in a while just because I feel like it is really harsh on your skin. Even if you like kind of put it on your hand or something beforehand. I just don't like to pull like that on it. And translucent powder does work. I do use that at times. But I would just prefer to do my eyeshadow first and then clean it up with a wipe. Okay, so we're kind of getting the color, or not the color. Well, yeah, pretty well the color. We're getting what we want on there. With a smaller, more precise brush, 
This is just one of the Urban Decay brushes that came in the Naked palette a million years ago. And I'm going to go in with the third row. One, two, three, four, five, six colors down. This is a warm, rich, chocolatey brown. And I'm going to very lightly dab it right in the outer corner, like right in the outer V. I'm keeping this color pretty low until the majority of the pigment is off and then I will pull it up a little more just because I don't want to go straight into it with a lot of pigment. You guys can tell how that's building and once I do get in there I am going to kind of pull it across the crease just to bring the pigment all the way over and again I'm just patting it in there. You can tell I'm just kind of sweeping it super lightly, like I don't have a lot of pressure on my brush. So I do this. And I'm just getting a decent color. I'm going to go back in with another layer of it, just because I like to go light at first, and then darken it up. So if I just start super light, it makes it easier. I'm out of focus again, like, focus, thank you. So I was going to use a black, but as I was like going about doing this look on my other eye, just because I was experimenting, I had no idea what I was doing as I was like going. I was just doing something and it ended up, I think it looks really pretty and I think it's really good for the um, holiday time, just because I know a lot of us are going out or we're going to parties or get togethers and stuff like that. Okay, so I have all that on there. I'm going back with the first brush I use, super just big fluffy brush. Back in with Silk Cream, and I'm just going to blend this out right along the edges. Blending, then I'm gonna go in with the second shade in the second row, and again, just go over it and blend some more. Making sure I'm in focus. Like, you seriously cannot blend too much. Like, if you think you're blending too much, you're wrong. You're really not. Because essentially, you can never blend too much. Okay. So that, I'm going back in again with the Urban Decay brush. And I'm going into the last color in the fourth row. This is a pretty, pretty warm, rich brown. Even richer than the last. It does have fallout though, so make sure that you're tapping off the fallout before you just go straight into your eye, just because you don't want more fallout than you need. And again, just sweeping this in the same area as before. Keeping it low at first, and then as the pigment's going off the brush and building up on the eye, I'm just bringing it up and sweeping it around. As you can tell, getting even more smoky. And we're gonna add a dark color to the lid to really, really make it smoky. I went in with the shimmer the first time and I didn't really like the payoff of it. I don't know if it was the brush I was using or what. I don't know why because I've never had a problem with any of her shadows before. So I'm not sure what it was. It might just have been user error. And going back in, not adding any color on the brush and just blending around the edges just so we know we have a nice blend going on. A nice blend going on. Sounds like someone just showed up at my house. I don't know who it would be. Okay, and now I am taking the Alexi 207 Medium Angled Shading Brush. Looks like this. Let me show you guys the actual name of it. That would help y'all. There you go. And I'm taking the one, two, three, four, five, fifth color in the last row of the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm packing it on there and I'm going to tap it off just because this is a dark shade as you guys can see on the brush. And I don't want extra fallout under my eye. But I'm going to kind of follow the shape of my eye with this brush. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to tap it right along the outside. And as you can see, at first this is going to be scary, honestly. You're going to be like, holy shit, I just put black on my eye. A very dark color. But it's going to get better. I promise you're going to blend to the heavens and it's going to get better. I promise. But you want to keep this fairly low. You don't want to go any higher than right below your crease. Just because if you do, you are going to kind of have that like 
black eye effect because this is a very dark shade. And I make sure to really push it like in my crease too because we are going to go in and we're going to blend super good with this. Okay, going back in with the Luxie brush, I'm going to take Silk Cream and the second color in the second row and we're just going to blend. And don't be afraid to put the shadow right over the color you just did. I used to be like that when I was blending and I was afraid I was just going to take away the color, but it's really not. It's going to soften it up, but still at the same time allow it to blend. You can always build up more color above it. Time out. Okay. So again, I have blended it. I'm going back in, same color, tapping it off. And again, just barely pressing it on the outer corner. And sweeping. As you can see, it honestly looks, like I said, you're gonna be scared at first. You're gonna be like, holy shit, I fucked up my face. Fucked up my eye look. What do I do now? I promise you, you didn't. Like, you're gonna blend. You are gonna blend to the heavens. So again, soap cream, second color, second row. And again, just blending. Sorry, I was really high up there. And you're just seriously going to blend until you cannot blend anymore. And when you think you're done, keep blending a little more. Okay, now for this part that I said I wasn't so sure if I liked how this turned out, um, I took a small shader brush. I'll try it with this eye too just so we keep the same technique down. Speaking, just a tiny little pencil shader brush like this. And I'm going in with the one, two, three, four, five. Fifth color in the fourth row. Spray my brush and packing it on the eye. Now, I don't know if it's the brush or me, but I don't know if you guys can tell. There's like literally no color payoff. Like there's a little bit, but not much. So I'm gonna just go in with two layers of that like I did the last eye. And then I'm gonna go over it with that dark color again. I don't know, I can see a little something happening. Just not as like evident as I wanted it. Okay, back in with this color. I'm gonna use what's remaining on the brush and just go over it. There we go. I like how dark that is. Now one more time with this blending brush, silk cream, other color. I'm going over it all. And then we're gonna clear it up with a wipe and we will be good. We'll be ready to do our mess or our yeah, our mascara and eyelashes. Okay guys. It's pretty simple, it's pretty blended. I just take my wipe like this and go under my eye and up to the tip of my eyebrow. That's all I do. I'm gonna do it again. I just really like to make sure I get a nice clean line like you can see that. There's a very loud vehicle driving by my house right now. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do mascara and stuff off camera and I will be right back. Okay guys, so since what you've seen I have done my face makeup, I have done, um, I finished up my eye makeup, I did my face makeup, I did my hair, so yes, um, pretty much all I did to finish off the eye makeup was I used the Ciate London Fierce Flicks Liquid Eyeliner, it looks like this, I really am not a very big eyeliner person, 
here's what the actual pin looks like. It is very sharp, but I figured since I was putting on lashes to kind of cover the band, I would use this. So I use this. I do like it, but it does bleed a little bit. And if you put it kind of closer to your inner waterline on top, it will bleed down onto your lower. So just remember that if you do have this and you are applying it. Um, I also just applied a pair of the Kiss Number 11 lashes. They're very long, very wispy. I love them. I just cut them to fit my eye size and I popped them on. So I'm going to go in. Oh, why am I talking so fast? I don't know why. But um, I'm just going to go through all the shadows I use on my eyes to show you guys. Um, the first one I use to set all of my concealer from the Laura Lee Los Angeles Cat's Pajamas palette is the very top white one. Okie dokie. I just use this all over my eye and eye area to set my concealer. And like I told you guys during the actual... Um, process of me doing it. I do not know all the shadows in this. I need to just find the card and tape it to the back. That way I know. But um, I'm just going to show you guys and then during the actual um, part I will put in the colors I was using. So I used, I do know the name of this one, Silk Cream because I use it all the time. So I used, oh, I better go this way. So I used Silk Cream. I also used this color right here. This color for my crease. And then to darken it up, I did use this color right here and then the very bottom color right here. And this is the shade right here that I tried to put on my lid, but for some reason it just wasn't having very good color payoff. So I ended up going over it with just this dark color. So yeah, those are all the colors I used out of the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I plan on doing the same thing with the Laura Lee palette, just making another look with it. But yes, um, this is just a very smoky look and I'm actually super obsessed. Um... As I was going, I was kind of scared. I was like, oh, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I don't know, really even have a look in mind of what I'm doing. But as I was going, I figured it out. So yes, I just did really full coverage foundation, especially for a look like this. I like something super full coverage and like chiseled. I did a really heavy contour. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but I did a really heavy contour, heavy highlight. You can tell my nose and my lip, my highlight there. And then I just put on, where'd she go? I never know where my stuff is. Here's one. Oh, I found them both. Um, I use the Jante Blue um, lip liner in number 933, a natural beige. It's just their lip pencil. I use this, and then over top of it, I use the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Brink. This is my. Is it gonna focus? I can't tell if it's focused or not. This is one of my absolute favorite nude fall colors. It's just a very nice nude that I feel like I can wear with like a smoky eye like this and it not look too overpowering or I can wear it with something super simple and it still look very nice and simple. So yeah, those are my uh, lip combination I have on right now. Um, if you guys want to see another version of a smoky eye with some cooler tones, let me know. I'm just very yellow undertone and warm based. So I like to use a lot of warm tones. I've said that in numerous videos, but I do understand not everyone is like that. We have neutral people. We have cool tone people. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. And like this Jaclyn Hill palette, there's so many cool tones in it too that I could create a look with so easily. So if you guys want to see a more cooler toned version of a smoky eye, let me know and I can do that. I'm also going to do a look with um, the Cat's Pajamas palette. So yes, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching. Bye.